Soon after leaving Atlantic City, you'll pass by the remains of Carissa Mine circa 1867. The gold found here in this mine led to a surging population in the area and the founding of South Pass City, now population 57. This restored historic town is worth a stop and the buildings are often open for viewing and the town hosts a museum and a gift shop as well. The route becomes undulating double track after crossing Highway 28. It's short but sweet riding and soon connects to a wide road crossing the south end of the Wind River Range. This section on Forest Road 300 is one of the highest traffic section on the Wyoming BDR so go slow and watch for vehicles on every corner and as always remember to ride right. You'll pass by several lakes including Louie Lake, Fiddler's Lake and Fry Lake along this section and several campgrounds run by the Shoshone National Forest. Eventually the dirt ends and the pavement begins but don't fret this is a wonderful bit of tarmac. Eight sweeping switchbacks take you down from the Wind Rivers to the middle Papoyo River valley below. After the switchbacks end look for signs for Sinks Canyon State Park. This park has two parking lots one where the river disappears underground and the other one and a half miles down the road where it rises in a calm pool full of hungry trout. You can feed them for a quarter. In a few miles you reach Lander, the largest city on the Wyoming BDR and home to the National Outdoor Leadership School. Lander has all the services you'll need so fuel your body and your bike. A few miles of pavement riding gets you to the town of Hudson and the start of a long section of dirt roads through wide open spaces dotted with mining and extraction sites. While not the most scenic section on the Wyoming BDR, it was the best option of getting around the Wind River Indian Reservation. You'll pass by unique and colorful sandstone formations on this section and go right through a gas plant on a public road. There are poison gas warning signs in the area and it feels a bit strange but right on through if the lights aren't flashing. This section ends at Shoshone, population 515 where you'll need to fuel up again.